Hello everybody, my name is Mr Antal and I'm a teacher in year two at Upton Infant School in the Squirrels class. Uh, we're going to be doing something slightly different this week, we're going to do some PE activities because we've got lots of topic work like science and history and geography uh, sat at our tables with paper and pencil but we're going to get a bit more active this week as well. So we'll be doing some work at our tables when we're recording our scores but we'll be doing some active uh, work as well. So let's have a look, a little sneak preview on what today's challenge is going to be about. So it says Move It Monday and we're going to be doing some shuttle runs today. But before we get on with shuttle runs like the person in the picture there, we're going to be doing a warm up. So I'm going to take you through the warm up and we're going to see what we need for the warm up and for today's activity. So you're going to need for this session you're going to need the following. Uh, paper and pencil, as always, you're going to need your active bodies, a stopwatch, or uh, you can use a parents' or carers' mobile phone stopwatch. You're going to need two markers. Now, Mr. Antel has my two markers, Peter Rabbit and Sven. So those are mine too. You've probably got two in mind that you think you might be able to use. And for our warm up, you're going to need a dice, or if you haven't got a dice, six pieces of paper with num numbers one to six on there and you can turn them over and jumble them up to use it as a dice and you're going to need two counters or two pieces of pasta that are colored or anything that you can use to let you know where you are on the board so our warm-up this week all throughout this week is going to be a game of active snakes and ladders so you're going to use your pieces to know where you are on the board you can play this by yourself or with your family and you roll the dice or you turn over the pieces of paper and move on the correct number of squares. And every time you land on a square, you need to complete that activity before the next person can take their turn. Now you can either print this off, um, or if you want to just use it on the screen, I'll move it onto a bigger screen in a moment, and you can just use your number line that you've got in your home learning packs to let you know what number you're on, and you just need to move the correct number along each time. Okay, don't forget to climb the ladders if you land on them and be honest, if you land on the snakes, then please slide back down. And I need you to do this for 10 minutes, even if you end up winning, keep going for 10 minutes just to make sure you're nice and warm, ready for today's activity. So I'm going to pause the video now and let you have 10 minutes of a good warm up. Good luck. Okay, hopefully you're nice and warm, ready to have a look at the rules for today's activity, which is as follows. Oh, before we do that, we need to do some writing in our books to make sure that we, we are going to fill in all of our scores this week. So don't forget uh, to write this as follows. And adults, you can help if your child needs a bit of support with this. So you're going to put a day down this side with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you're going to put the activity, which today is shuttle run. And then the score. And then you're going to put a column here, which is Friday, which you're going to try and beat your scores on Friday of all that you've done this week. If you want to put lines on, you can do like this, but you don't have to. It's your choice. Um, Adults, if you want to support, that would be great. If you can do it by yourselves, even better. So I'll give you some moment now to pause the video and copy this down on a piece of paper, please. Okay, great. We are ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the rules and it says, to create a shuttle run with two markers. Now, my two markers are Peter Rabbit and Sven. You've got your two markers. You need a straight line somewhere in your house or your garden, preferably five meters long. And that will be about five jumps for you guys, okay? If you don't have enough space, then you can set up a circle to run around instead. And the challenge is how many shuttle runs or loops can you do in three minutes okay so i'm going to share the screen now so it's larger and show you how i'm going to set up my course with my two markers so i'm going to put sven down here near the camera and i'm going to do five jumps with peter rabbit 
and put this right down here. And then the job is to run from one point to the other one as many times as you can in three minutes. So you're going to run all the way along to one point, to that marker, then back, to the next one, and back. So you grab it, and back all the way to the other one. But you're going to keep going for three minutes, okay, for three minutes. Now, I'm just going to share my screen again because when you have done that, then you're going to fill in your score. So on the next page, you're going to fill in your score. Now I've put 19. You're either going to need to count how many laps you do each time or get somebody else to count it for you. And then you're going to put the score next to Monday, shuttle run and how you've got on. Okay, so good luck for today. Have a great workout, everyone. And we will see you tomorrow for Tuesday's challenge. Good luck.